In an age of rising fuel prices, electric vehicles are gaining more popularity today than ever before and we are here to talk about one of the most important electric scooters in the Indian market. Hello and welcome to DriveSpark, I'm Stephen Neal and this is the TVS iQ. The words used to describe the design of the TVS iQ are quite ironic indeed. It's retro, yet it's modern, it's futuristic, yet it harks back to the past, so quite ironic indeed. But in one word, if you were to describe it on the whole, it's robotic. The same robotic stance is carried up front too. So you've got the fly screen up above and then right underneath is the LED DRL. So it's got this little texture integrated into it. So that can be seen only from up close. Also you've got the piano black finish element right here and the front apron. It is split only by this front lighting arrangement that includes the LED headlamp and LED indicators. Right, the TVS iCube. So at the side you've got this alloy wheel that grabs your attention immediately, it looks very fancy, it's a dual tone unit. Also to the side you've got the same robotic stance that we were talking about earlier, you got the IQ badging right there and then you've got the plastic covers that cover the swing arm, they don't really serve a function but they make the scooter look great indeed. Coming to the behind of this TVS IQ, you've got the seat here with the contrast stitching right above. And you've got a very small badge that says Q Park Assist. Also, you've got the tail lamp and indicators integrated into one unit, the LED units, and you've got the simple mudguard down there. Uh, the grab rails look really great. It's finished in the same body color and it feels great to hold as well. And also, you've got the swing arm covers that uh, add more character to the rear end. It's time to talk about the features and the specifications of the TVS iQ. This electric scooter comes with a lot of features and we're going to give you the rundown on all of it. So right up front you've got this TFT instrument cluster, it's a Bluetooth enabled unit, it connects to your smartphone via TVS proprietary app and it's a 5 inch unit. On the screen it displays the time, the date, the amount of power left in the battery, the range left and also the trip meter, the odometer, speedometer and even average speed. Also there is a dedicated section where it displays your phone details once it's connected to your smartphone, it displays the your incoming calls, it displays your SMS alert and also you get turn by turn navigation. And well, other than that, on your smartphone app you get geotagging, geofencing, trip data recording and it also shows you the vehicle parameters such as range and battery power left. So that's quite a lot of information you can get on your smartphone app as well as on the screen. Now coming to the vehicle itself, let's talk about the specifications. So it rides on telescopic spoke up front and twin shocks at the rear that are adjustable for preload. Uh, in terms of braking, you've got a disc brake up front, it's a 220mm unit and at the rear you've got a 130mm drum brake. Let's get to the motor, the heart of the vehicle. At the rear is a 4.4 kilowatt motor, it's made by Bosch, it's a hub mounted motor that translates to roughly around 6 bhp and 140 nm, that is the motor's rated torque output. And other than that, it's powered by a 2.2 kilowatt hour battery and TVS claims a range of 75 kilometers in eco mode and 55 kilometers in power mode. Does it give us the same range in the city? What's it like to ride? Let's find out. We're aside the TVS iCube and straight away let's get to the performance. We're riding in eco mode and we almost immediately hit the top speed of 45 km per hour. A quick switch in the mode and the top speed goes up considerably. The scooter starts accelerating and the numbers on the display quickly touch 60, 70 and it climbs to 78 km per hour which is the top speed as claimed by TVS. While filming these riding shots we were almost at the end of the range offered by the TVS iCube and had only about 15 km kilometers left. Even with just that much charge left in the battery, the TVS iCube did speeds very close to the top speed claimed by TVS and that is some commendable performance as most electric scooters cut off as the battery level drops really low. We switched back to eco mode and found that the remaining range jumped from 14 kilometers to 19 kilometers. Until 45 kilometers per hour, the acceleration in both modes are just the same and the acceleration continues to be the same even when battery levels are low. TVS claims 
the scooter has a range of 75 km on a single charge, but we managed to squeeze out 80 km when we took the scooter on a hypermiling run. The TVS iCube accelerates pretty quickly and sharply to the top speed. TVS claims the scooter can do a top speed of 78 km per hour. However, on slopes, we pushed it to 80 km per hour. The instrumentation screen is pretty bright during the day and all the information is clearly visible. As the daylight gives way to darkness, the theme of the instrumentation changes and black becomes the primary color instead of white. The TVS iCube rides on 12-inch wheels shod with TVS Eurogrip Conta 550 tires. These tires grip the road in almost all conditions. Now that we're talking about the grip levels, it is also time for us to tell you about the braking. The brakes on the TVS iCube are excellent. The initial bite is great and so is the braking progression. The combi brake system helps the electric scooter slow down without a fuss. Handling too is top-notch and the suspension does well in keeping the ride quality great. It takes just over 5 hours to charge up the battery from 0 to 100%. 0 to 80% takes just 4 hours. The battery is a 2.2 kilowatt per hour unit and the TVS iCube is powered by a 4.4 kilowatt motor that is hub-mounted. We rode the scooter for over 300 kilometers but never ran out of charge. All we did was ride during the day and plug it in for charge charging at night. The charging system has an automatic cutoff so that the battery doesn't get damaged with overcharging. On the whole, the TVS iCube is an excellent scooter to ride. We love the way it is built and the way it performs too. If you're looking for an electric scooter for your intracity commute, well, the TVS iCube looks like a perfect contender for that space in your garage. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to DriveSpark for more auto news, reviews and updates. And well, stay safe.